after that have gone through your highs and lows of the preparation okay you know right. some days let's say you as you said okay like you're too confident about verbal and and the first mark itself gave you eye opener okay. yes yes so uh, what did you do okay let's say let's say we talk about each of these sections okay so you know uh, verbal cons and all okay what did you do for that so i knew cons was my weakest section so that i was very clear i wanted to figure out which was my weakest section cons was my weakest section so i wanted to spend more time on cons so i'll start with cons itself so i knew that i will uh, kind of raise my scores in dilr and verbal and cons i wanted to clear the sectional first so for that i started working on arithmetic uh, as you suggested and abhijit sir uh, had told me also work on arithmetic first get your basics right uh, start Uh, you know answering questions with respect to arithmetic so yeah. once that is in place then we will go for algebra and other things so i started with arithmetic solved a lot of questions one topic uh, understood the topic uh, attended the lecture and then solved as many as questions as possible easy questions then medium then you know little bit tough questions this happened for entire arithmetic all the topics in arithmetic i tried to cover most of the arithmetic topic uh in the first attempt i gave up on time speed distance that was the major mistake i did huh. and the exam in cat 2020 in my slot i got four questions from uh time speed distance and i couldn't answer any of the that, that is a mistake that a lot of students do because in arithmetic okay people you can't be choosy okay in that bracket I mean, arithmetic as a whole okay can be around 30 40% okay of the con section and in that also yes. if you pick and choose things okay that becomes okay like challenging yes. there <laughs> made a huge mistake i was like i will study at the last i will study at the last but i didn't know time speed distance and i didn't know like arith um, algebra modern math and geometry also was yet to begin for me like it was already september at that point of time by the time i finished arithmetic i was thorough with the concepts when i started giving mocks on the side i could only answer what like 6 to 7 questions maximum that is what i could answer because time speed distance i couldn't answer and other things also i was not very sure about so this is what happened with respect to quants after that when i seek your guidance you were like yeah i can't be choosy so then again i went through time speed distance a little bit but i didn't give it that much concentration and that only in cat it reflected so i couldn't uh, do that that was one idea okay that i think that that's a good learning for other people also okay that when you but you no know, choosing a particular uh, part okay of area of cons okay you have to do it thoroughly correct correct cat does not require you to study entire math 100% and exam also you need not uh, answer all 100 questions so in the in our case 66 questions we need not answer 66 questions but whatever topics if we are thorough in that topic we need to be if we need to make sure that we we should solve any question that that is asked even if it is difficult or easy we need to solve that and once you get that hang once you start giving mocks then also the time comes into picture there will be two or three methods to solve a particular question we should choose the optimized method that kind of will help to answer two or three questions more on the day yeah. so all this while giving mocks is when i realized so one day uh, the mocks will go really well the 6 7 questions whichever i attempt will be 100% accuracy okay i got 21 sectional will be cleared okay i'm done with math so yes. i always only aimed for 80 85 88 in math okay. so i did not push further beyond that that itself was a big deal for me uh, okay. in the initial stages okay. so that is what happened with quants in the beginning then with respect to dlr But, but did you start the mocks? Okay, uh, you know, like once you are done with cons, uh, in terms of like only arithmetic is done. Did you start with mocks or after, you start from mocks? After arithmetic, I started mocks because for me, at least, like whoever, like be it uh, the coaching you or you know others who have given cat, everybody told me give a mock. And for me also personally, even though if it was difficult, it told me where I was lagging behind. If I only solve certain topic in arithmetic. in percentages i know where i'm like making a mistake but with respect to the examination as a whole i didn't know where i was lagging behind only when i gave a mock i realized okay i need to attempt eight more like eight questions or nine questions the time was a problem where i can reduce my time where i can give it more time all of these things nuances is required you can't it, it just doesn't appear during a uh, tact you practice 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 and mocks 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 so that is like a given mocks needs to be taken not when you finish the portion 100% but even when you complete 50 or 60% of the uh, portions you need to start giving mocks 
so here so, comes a point that because you no know, you were you were doing along with your job as you said okay and uh, that that also brings to this question okay that you, know, you you were facing difficulty in cons okay that was happening okay uh, your verbal okay uh, you know suddenly you realize okay that you know, this is area that you need to work and then you have job also so time management becomes a big challenge okay for uh, very very because uh, so yeah uh, if the day goes well if i'm scoring well my mind will be okay then i'll be able to pull in two more hours but then there have been days when verbal also like i've got negative like 0 2 3 single digit scores also in verbal so verbal will be like that and dlr that day like one or two sets and then quants will be eight or seven questions so max the entire mock will take a hit and this will happen after i studied for two months continuously Okay. So that time I'll be like, okay, what have I done? Like I'm not seeing the results. Like what is happening? Am I at the right? So you start questioning a lot. This is one part of it. Then there's work. I cannot go and tell. You know, I work in consulting. By the way, core consulting. I work at one of the big four. So the hours is also uh, way beyond. We have to stretch. We have to talk to clients on a regular basis. So I cannot bring in my cat preparation into work at all. So there's I cannot do that. So weekends also I used to work sometimes. So usually. what i used to do was uh, i finished the work come back home uh, i took a coaching especially because i wanted to keep the momentum going so every day 9 pm even if i'm lazy or even if i can't solve personally i will attend session yeah so two hours i will solve something at least i will know the concept i will learn a formula so 9 to 11 that will be you know given every day even if i'm tired i will attend the session and post 11 If I am like okay, that day if I didn't have a lot of work, I will start solving whatever I learned in the session. I'll go back to the top, solve the questions in that particular topic. So this is what I did continuously. Some things you can't do it. Even I couldn't do it. There have been days when I wanted to give up completely. So I went back one week. I will take some time for myself. Probably you know meet my friends who are entirely who have nothing to do with cat. No talk about cat. So everything outside work, I I will take my time because I I needed that. Uh, because it's again not a one month journey right it's a very long journey i need to come back so all these small small breaks needs to be taken and uh, it is okay even if your mock doesn't go well all you need to do is do well during the that one exam on the d day 